love everything vintage. I hunt thrift stores, garage sales, auctions and more for vintage items, furniture to refinish, pieces to repurpose, or just things I see value in to flip. Occasionally I keep unique items I just can't live without. I'm Original Vintage 71. Follow me on my thrifting and DIY <laughs> adventures. We're having a good time. Don't matter. <laughs> Make sure you keep watching to the end to see what my mother-in-law found for me at a thrift store the same day that I was thrifting. Is it a good morning, Leo? Leo, you having a good morning? Try, try, try again. I'm going to head out to a thrift store today to see if I can find any awesome vintage items to flip for a profit. Maybe a table or two to paint to flip for a profit. I'm hoping for the best today. Please, today, today's the day. I know, I've got the hamper still in the back seat. It's gotta make its way to the garage for me to fix it. Anyways, let's head out. Running behind, so today's breakfast is almonds and an apple. All right, let's go. Something good, today. Today is the day, please, today is the day, I'm hoping. Today is the day I'm going to speak. I am going to find something great. So let's head there and see what we can find. Here we go. Oh, it's always a rock. Martini sign. Mirror martini sign. It's kind of cute. Plate shelf. What's up at the top? Oh. Lampshade. What do we have here? Franciscan Earth Earthware. It's kind of a nice bowl. Hmm. I think I'm gonna think about that one. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, very scratched up plates. Which way? Very, very scratched. A little leaf dish for $2.99. Oh, this is kind of nice. Great big leaf dish. That's kind of fun. Oh, it's scratched. Right underneath there. Put it back. Okay, what else we got? Oh, look at this butterfly dish. Oh, the paint's coming off it too. It's kind of fun though. It's kind of fun. It's pretty. Don't sell many plates like that. But that is a pretty one. Oh. $2.99, eh? kind of cool. I'm going to put it in the cart anyways, even though I don't usually sell much like that. That one's kind of a different looking one. I like, kind of like it. What do we got here? Do not place in water. Clean with damp cloth. Oh, that's uh, like paper mache. I don't know. What do you call that? Maj posh. I knew what it was called. Maj Paj. Everything's better with coffee. Casa Signature. I thought that was Tim Hortons. But it wasn't Tim Hortons. This dog coffee cup. Where's all the vintage? Where's all the vintage cups? All the cool vintage cups. Where are you? Where are you? Oh yeah, I looked at those before. I am not seeing anything that's jumping out at me. What's this? Crate and barrel? Is that what it is? 
Yep, crate and barrel. Oh, oh but coffee. But first coffee. That's cool. I like that. I always wanted to play with one of these. My dad has a few of them. Five bucks, hey? I think I will put that one in the cart. And try it out. You heat the water and then you put the grinds in and then you squish it down after it sits for a while. Mr. and Mrs. keeps moving around. An interesting wine stem. I kind of like that. Chill, fill, enjoy, rinse, repeat. What? Handmade in Canada with pride and fire. That's interesting. Out of a bottle. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of crooked at the top where they cut it. That's kind of cool. What else we got? What's what's these little guys? Those are cute. Gold overlay, which is in really good condition. Three ninety nine. Oh, for four. Well, yeah. For three ninety nine, I'd probably take the cute little cups. For f I like to use these cups when I drink juice or make my apple cider shots. S N D. Oh, cute. They're kind of fun wooden salt and pepper shakers. Wonder if I could clean them up. Bet you I could. I'm gonna think about them. Starbucks. No straw. I already have one of those, so I think I'll leave that one. Some milk glass. Five. Plain white though. People do like white. I know I sell lots of white in my booth, so I might get that. I wouldn't make a whole lot off it, but they sell pretty fast, so it is pretty busy in here today. Six ninety nine. Well that's kind of a big fun tray. It's heavy. But it's kind of fun. tray would look cool on a dresser with perfume or brushes or something. Those are interesting. Does it say on the bottom? Anchor Hawking. Are those fridge dishes? Eight bucks. They're kind of fun. I'm going to search those up, but I like them. They are fun. the cute little Corningware coffee pot. Hmm. It's kind of cute. I'm gonna throw you in the cart. There's another one. Le Cafe. Corningware. I'm gonna search them up to see how much they go for. We're gonna search you up. Getting lots of stuff in my cart. I'm gonna a cute little uh, horseshoe box. It needs to be cleaned up. How much? $6.99. Mm, I'll get to that price. Oh, I like these for perfume and stuff from the bathroom. I like picking these up because they look cute on dressers or in bathrooms with Q-tips or perfume, things like that. I'm gonna grab that too. I'm having a fun day today now. 
Oh, piggy bank. Cute. How much is he? Four ninety-nine. It's kind of scratched a little bit. What are these? Someone did paintings on. Oh, I thought it was wood, but it's not. It's like ceramics. These apples are kind of fun. Beauclair. Beauclair apples. These are kind of cute. Hmm. How much? $2.99. They are cute. Somebody might like those. Probably get maybe 12 to 15. Yeah, I'll take them. What's this? Oh, it's light. A metal bowl. $1.99. So my daughter and my husband met up with me at the end of my thrifting and she mentioned to me that this was at the dollar store. And she bought one and had the same one. I didn't end up getting it, but it is kind of a cute piece. Oh, Czechoslovakia plate. Ninety-nine cents. It's kind of pretty. There's those girls. Oh, the crystal bowl. And it's broken. It's got a crack right there. Oh, I see these a lot now. Wine bottle shoe holders. I guess everybody's getting rid of them. Oh, look at this, guys. Eyebrows. Whoops. Ah, be careful. Oh, be careful. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> Liz. Well, she is interesting. <laughs> oh, it's a mu mustache pen holder, maybe. Oh, a horse bookend. But where's the other bookend? Red Shed, Climbing Horse, bookends. Could, I guess you could use just one horse. You don't, I guess you don't need both sides, do you? For $7? I think somebody might like that. It's got a few scratches on it, but maybe be able to touch it up. I'm gonna think about that one too. It's a wood carved thermometer. Horse thermometer. How much? $2.99. Would anybody want a wood carved horse thermometer? This beaded basket. Wow, somebody put a lot of work into that with safety pins. When I was young, it was installed to have safety pins with beads and then you'd put them on your shoes. Hmm. And an apple, wood apple basket. Kind of cute. Oh, it's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin, wooden pumpkin basket. Oh, and the sticker just fell on my foot. Okay, you get you and put you back. Vintage dress I'm seeing. It is, what? Look at that. That is so cool. And my favorite color. I'll be taking that for $14.99. What size is it? Could I wear it? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Are there any more? It just caught my eye. The material said, come over here. I might have to take a look after I'm done looking at the dishes. See if I can find any more. It's kind of a cool one. I have 
had a few of those in my booth and they just don't move, but I kind of like that one. I think I could sell it online probably. It's got scratches though, so I'm not gonna take a chance. This just come out. Come on, spill the tea. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Hmm. Nescafe. Oh, wonder if that would be worth anything. Dollar ninety-nine. I guess I'll search it up. You never know. We. Oh, look at this. Mexican drinking glass. Now that's fancy. <laughs> a cactus. A little bit crooked, but does that matter? Sits a little crooked. It's kind of fun, though. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to think about the cactus. A wine glass. Or a margarita glass or whatever you want. Ooh, I just sold my set like this. And here's another one. Ten bucks. I think I sold my set for... I want to say 30, but I don't know for sure. How many we got in here? Three? Oh, uh-oh. It's stuck. Hold on. So there is three. This lid's a little uh, darker, but I think I can clean them up and I still think that I could make some money on them. So I'm going to take them. I'll take the canisters. A couple of teddy bears down there. I don't really resell teddy bears. But this monkey is a beanie? A beanie monkey? I don't know anything about beanie monkeys. Search them up. What else do we have here? Oop, careful. Home is starting place for love and dreams. Yes, it is. Got a lot of saying type pieces at the thrift store lately. Oh, this is. Is it open? Oh, that's a picture frame. It's a chalkboard. It's kind of cute, actually. With a picture frame on the back. I actually think it's cuter maybe without the picture frame. I might get that one and touch it up for $5.99, sell it for like $25, $30. Bucks. Yeah, I think so. Let's grab you. A Tupperware. for veggies, for camping. I think this had a, a, a handle, probably, that went over top, so we won't get that one. Might get this one, though. This little one. It's kind of a nice size for when you have leftover veggies. Oh. Hey, guys. <laughs> to put on the back of the seat for a kid to keep themselves entertained. Well, what's this? Place mats. Small place mats. Kind of nice though. Made in England. Well, a nice lady informed me that these don't sell. And there was only two in here anyway, as far as I could see. So we won't be getting those. Goodness, is this vintage too? It's 
starched. Somebody used spray starch on it. <laughs> I'm thinking it might be old material. Yes, somebody made that. Yep. Interesting. It's a genuine leather bag. Genuine leather. Made in Brazil. Hmm. How much? 25. It's kind of vintagey looking, isn't it? Ooh, this looks fun. 70 bucks. And dangerous. Looks fun and dangerous. And there is two. <laughs> I might actually tell Mike about it. We might have to come back and get them. Huh? Okay, what do you call that instrument? They want 150 for it. I don't know what that is. What do you call it? If you know, let, put it in the comments and let me know. What do you call that thing? Uh, I've not seen anything new in the cabinets. The hat's still there and the stick's still there. And the comics are still there. Ooh, I got a big cart. I'm struggling. Cute hat. How much for the hat? Fifteen. <laughs> Could clean it up and wear it. It'll look all snazzy. It's coming. Everybody's getting rid of their hats. And scarves. His ears broken. We're just gonna spray paint him. So good. His ears broken. Yeah. I've got helpers. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs>
S T A R N E S. One down there too. I gotta look it up. I searched them up and I couldn't find anything. What else do we have here? That's interesting. Fisher Home Products. Is it Christmas tree? Oops. A white Christmas tree. Oh, for seven bucks, maybe I'll get the Christmas tree. I might just get the Christmas tree. I decided not to get the table. It just wasn't what I was looking for. That's cute. Bakery sign. Very cute. You get more than 25. But it's ready to go. Hmm. I'll put it in the purse. I'm liking just the this uh, little tin can thing here on the side for chalk. This is just a piece of wood that someone made into a chalkboard. But I like that. But for eight dollars, would I buy this? To take it off. Hmm. Am I a chalkboard? Maybe. I thought somebody would really like this rooster, so I grabbed him for five bucks. I'll probably just throw him in my booth. The vintage coat. How much do they want? I don't see a price. I don't know, for 30 bucks. Jen's vintage coat. I'd say today was a pretty good day. I bought a few things. Quite a few things. I spent 50 bucks at second glance. So, I'm pretty happy. I'm going to head home and go through it all and look at it again and maybe start pricing. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow along and see what else I find. Take care. I'm back here at home. And on the way home from thrifting yesterday, I got a text from my mother-in-law. She sent me a picture of this cute little elephant cookie jar. She stopped at a thrift store in St. Albert, a one that I hardly ever find good stuff at. And she found this cute little Japan Reuben cookie jar. I couldn't believe it. So she was nice enough to pick it up for me for five bucks. How nice of her was that? Isn't it adorable? Let's see if we can focus. There we go. It's got a little tail on the back. So cute. That was so sweet of her to pick that up for me. Decided what I'm gonna do with this piece. I'm going to paint it white. Keep the chalkboard, keep the handle black, and I'm just gonna paint it with chalk paint to make it really simple. Put a top coat on and throw it in the, maybe do some distressing, throw it in the store for like 35 bucks. Did you guys also notice it's got hooks on it? So I thought that was kind of cool. You could hang something on there, something in your kitchen. Wanted to ask you viewers if you've ever come across the rooster's bowl, this, I'm sure it says Starnes. I'm pretty sure. Have you come across this bowl? Because I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. I could not find And I wasn't going to buy the big piece because I just kind of feel like would someone use a big piece like this? But like I said, maybe a farmhouse table in the center or maybe a fruit bowl. Somebody who eats a lot of fruit. I don't know. I thought it was cute, so I couldn't leave it behind. And I have no idea what it's worth. Could not, it might not be worth anything. I don't know. If you guys know, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Oh, and I wanted to show you the dress again. Look at it, it's got a little coat. It's so cute. Look at that. So cool, and the material, like, Look at that material. Oh, I just love it. And it's got this little coat that goes over top. The little coat that came with it. You could even wear the coat with like jeans and high heels or something. With a t-shirt maybe. I don't know, I just think it's adorable. 
we need to do something with Don't it. Don't forget, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for following me. And take care till the next time we head out and go for a thrift. See you guys. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. For more thrifting and DIY at Original Adventure 71, thanks for watching.